here now with Chris Mara, star of the opening night movie, You Can't Have It All. How did the movie go? I thought it went really well. It was very well received, and it was... I think it was a great comedy, which was really refreshing, actually. Yeah, got a lot of laughs, so it was good. Was that the first time watching the movie? That was my first time. Yeah, normally I, I, I think I would probably ask to see it ahead of time. But it was wonderful to see it with such a, a great crowd, I think, who wanted to love it. So that was nice. They were very kind. And this was your very first movie? This is my very first movie, yeah. Was it intimidating working with such big stars? Um... Yeah, I won't lie. The first day shooting with Wendy Malik was actually my first day shooting. And uh, I had a moment where I thought, I thought, oh my God, I have no idea what I'm doing and everyone else is so good at what they're doing and I, I'm going to screw this up. But I didn't, so it worked out well. Yeah. And you filmed entirely in Philadelphia. What was your impression of the, of the city? Fell in love. Absolutely fell in love <laughs> with it. Oh my gosh, I had a friend who moved here uh, recently and, and I see why. It's, it's really easy. Rittenhouse Square and just laying out in the sun. I mean, we were very lucky to shoot in April, so it was gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I loved it. Loved it. We'll definitely be back to visit unsolicited, just to visit. Yeah. So what are your projects in the future? Um, so after the summer, I'm working in Maine. Uh, at a boys camp and then at a camp for boys who've lost a parent or a sibling or someone they love. Uh, after that, just writing and auditioning and uh, hopefully something will come along. That's nothing. And you mentioned during the Q&A a little bit about telling your story and telling our story. Yeah. Talk about that? Yeah, I think, I, I think that's really important. And, and I don't know, I guess a lot of actors waver uh, back and forth. Why, why, why do we do what we do? And for a lot of people... Uh, it becomes important to tell something that's personal and true. And you find that in every character, of course, but I think eventually it's time that, that you really talk about what you've gone through. And, and maybe that's why I write as well. But um, yeah, I think that we have, to, we have to tell stories that people relate to. And with that comes a healing and a growth as a community. And I mean like a human community uh, that is is really amazing. It can only be achieved in art and theater and, and, and film. Thank you very much for coming and hopefully be moving to Philadelphia soon. Moving, visiting, all of the above. Absolutely. Great. Well, have fun at the party. Thank you. Oh, our, and our two questions. I know, our two questions. What, what is your favorite gay movie of all time? My favorite gay movie of all time. Uh, I grew up watching Auntie Mame with Rosalind Russell and uh, an amazing, I mean, Agnes Gooch in that. Is, I, I, they're like filled with gay characters. But then also Yours, Mine, and Ours with Lucille Ball. They're like, what could be gayer? It's like a bunch of <laughs> twins and like, you know, adolescents running around. And it's like, whoa, take that out. Don't say any of that. You can't use that. You can't use that. And in one word, for you, Q-Fest is? Fun. I'm having a blast. Great. Hope you come back.